whatever you do, you've got to be a little bit gone to it. You're not all there. You've got to be almost insane to your craft. Mm. Not a lot of people can understand that. That's why I don't know about nothing else. I do not pay attention to nothing else. There was games of football on yesterday, there was rugby, there was this, there was that. And like normal society is like, let's talk about this and let's, let's engage in this. And I just don't, I can't do it. I just don't, I'm, I, people are talking to me and in my head I'm, I'm counting something. I'm counting up a number or I'm, or I'm knee deep in a sequence on the mat or in, on the feet. That's my life, sequences and numbers, nothing else. I cannot pay attention to nothing else. Do you love this game? I mean, love it with your whole heart. Because if you don't, let's not even bother. Let's not open that door, they're just gonna slam it right in our face. I love this game, I live this game. And there's a thousand other guys waiting in the wings who are obsessed with this game. Obsession's gonna be talent every time. You got all the talent in the world, but are you obsessed? Is it all you ever think about? Let's face it, it's you against you out there. When you walk on that court, you have to think I am the best guy out there. And my personal question to you is why not you? You've got the brains, you can make decisions, you can study the plan, you can change your life. You can grow immensely in the next few years. You can make your dreams come true. You can build a financial wall around your family. Nothing can get through. You can become healthy. You can become powerful. Why not you? When I was in the military, we go on these instructor-led runs. Most of the time, we knew the start and end point. So on the way back, I started seeing people getting happy and shit because the end was near. But there were some asshole instructors that would hear the happiness and go right on past the end point. When that happened, everybody stopped talking. Heads would stop dropping. And I started taking fucking souls. At that time, I knew what happened in their minds. They were living off the hope factor. They hoped the instructors would stop running. They hoped the water was never cold. They hoped the weather was fucking good. I don't live off that hope shit. I wish the water was cold. I wish them motherfucking instructors keep on fucking running. I wish the fucking rain. When the Indian is unknown and the distance is unknown, that's when you know who the fuck you are. The fear is never reaching your potential. That's it. That always falling short, always quitting before you're done, always procrastinating, always yep. not doing the right thing. And then one day you're an old man. Yep. And you look back and go, God, I could have been great. Yep. But where do you go to? You wake up on a morning, it's cold, it's mm -hmm. wet, it's dark, you've got no cartilage in your knee, you've mm -hmm. got shitty shorts, whatever it is that's the issue today. Keep talking. I need you to keep talking about what you were just saying. It's warm on the couch. That's your it. missus says stay in bed. That's it. It's comfy, that's it's cozy, it. you've got it. work later on, you had an argument last night, you're that's slightly hungover. Because I know every motherfucker ain't gonna do what I'm gonna do. The, the unfulfilled potential is the story of most people's lives. It is. It is. It, and it could have been the story of mine. And I tell a lot of people, people go, what's your biggest fear in life? And my biggest fear, honestly, was, let's say this. Let's say, uh, I don't care if you believe in God or not. I don't care. So this, this is play a game with me. Let's say, let's say you're God. And we have a big fucking long line of people. And I made to heaven. I'm 75 years old. I'm 300 pounds. I made to heaven. I worked for Ecolab my entire life, spraying for cockroaches, that's what I did. But I'm dead, I'm in heaven now. And you are at, you're, you're judging us all now. So we're in line, we're all sitting there in line. And you have Adam Brown, he has a big board up and you're talking to Adam Brown about his life. And you rip it down and I'm next in line, David Goggins. I see my name, and I see all this shit and God goes, hey, you say, read this man. And I'm reading this list and I'm seeing 182 pounds, Navy SEAL, Ranger School, motivational speaker, changing lives. Okay, man, pull up record, all this shit. And I'm like, that's not me, man. And God looks at me and says, that's who you were supposed to be. And my biggest fear, I, I visualize some crazy shit. My biggest fear is that one day I'm gonna reach a judgment of my life. Someone, something's gonna judge me. 
what the fuck I was supposed to be in life. And what I want now is that whoever judge me, whatever judge me up there, I want them to have a board and them up there right now getting their pen out. Because, you know, this person who judges you is supposed to know everything. You're supposed to know from the time you're dead to the time you're, you know, the you know, time you're born, the time you're dead. I want this person to be up there to be like this, up there writing more about me, saying, fuck, I know you, should, I, I know you can do that. I, I, I know you can do that. So I want to impress whatever the fuck is up there, whatever's going on in life. I want to go up there and not have anything left on the table. I want to, I want to drain my soul of every fucking bit of person I am. We are so worried about what other people think about us. You know, it's like, oh my gosh, what if they think I'm crazy? What if they think I'm over obsessive or competitive? And what if this is like, you're too much. This is just not healthy for you to be thinking this way, right? Yeah. How did you get your mindset into this alter ego to be comfortable being Black Mamba? Like, how, how did that happen? It's a good separation for me, you know, emotionally, to be able to put myself in a place where at practice or when I'm training or during games, I switch my mind to something else. I switch my mode into something else. It was like an actor getting ready for a film. You gotta put yourself in that cage. When you're in that cage, you are that character. And then when you leave there, it's something completely different. But when I'm in that cage, bro, don't fucking touch me. Don't talk to me. You're always afraid to take the first step because all you see is every negative thing 10 miles down the road. But you can do anything you want. You are bound by nothing. What are you passionate about? What do you want? 